Hi all, welcome back to my channel, it's Kristen. Um, so today I wanted to play with a little bit of new makeup that I got. I got kind of a variety here. Um, I, yeah, I got a variety of things here. I, um, I've i been using this the last couple days and I love it, but I want to use it on camera, the Natasha Denona palette. I actually had this on um, in my Fat Fit Fun unboxing video. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. I love this thing, it's so nice. So we're gonna go ahead and play with that on camera today. Um, I have the new ColourPop um, blush and light sticks. I don't think that's what they call them. They're, I think I threw away the packaging. <laughs> Oops. Um, but they're just, they're just, they're, that's what it is. They're blush and highlighter sticks. Um, and I got the Orchid Trio, so I want to play with those. Um, I got a, um, this is old, but I finally got my hands on the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha. Finally got my hands on that. That that was like impossible to find. Finally, I found it on. Finally, I found it on um, Ulta. Sorry, Ulta. So we're gonna use that. Um, uh, there's a few other things that we're gonna use. Um, I'm like all over the place. I just woke up. I'm like ah. Oh. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna get started. The first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna. My face is feeling very dry. So I'm going to take my rose hip, pearlescence rose hip oil and just put that on to my face because like I said, it's feeling very dry this morning. Probably because, you know, of how hot it's been outside. Uh, okay, so we're going to let that sit. And we're going to go into the eyeshadow. Um, I do have a new eye primer. I know, what? We're not going to use the Milani eye primer? even am I new primer who dis <laughs> this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer reflective packaging I'll show you the bottle if I can get it open oh reflective packaging for the primer bottle too so it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer it's brand new brand stinking new so we are gonna oh it's a ooh, oh okay it's a squeezy tube and it's already it's coming out already okay uh, so let's just dot that on here. Oh, that might have been way, way, way too much. I feel like it probably was, but can't go back now. That's what I always say is you can, you can always add more, but you can't take, can't take excess away. Good Lord. Okay, well, wow. I used that tiny little bit that had shot out. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. Disaster, disaster, it's still coming out too. Disaster. Okay, all right, I see you, Anastasia. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's definitely one of those primers I got to find like a. I, I gotta get a makeup one here. <laughs> it's definitely one of those primers who. Uh... So it's definitely one of those primers that make your lid, uh, you know, have no veins or no coloring. was a fail wasn't it oh my goodness okay I've never had a primer like explode on me like that and I've never had it where you needed oh you need just a tiny 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 bit okay so this is just this like the mini size and I I'm probably never gonna go through this apparently because that was like goes on the lid it uh, covers the veins it covers any like redness or anything like that so okay okay it feels very dry like it already dried down it's not really like a tacky one I'm still gonna go in with I'm still gonna go in with my Cali contour um, powder here this one here and I'm gonna set that because that's what I do I'm not I'm not changing up things too much set that down um, so the trio that I got for the blush it and the highlighter is again called orchid so they've got kind of a like a purpley tone to them even though these are pink they're more purpley you'll be able to see up here um so we're gonna go with more of a purpley tone on the eye I don't want to do exactly what I did in that video um but I might so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the color Morgan 
which is right here. It's like a peachy color. And I'm gonna use this as my mirror so I don't have to look behind me, or behind me. It's really, it's early. So I don't have to look behind the camera. Okay, so we put down that Morgan color. Um, so next we're gonna go into, we're gonna go into Clove, which is this color right here. And I'm going to put it more precisely into my crease. So I'm gonna take an E, I'm gonna take a Sigma E25, and I'm gonna put that, and I'm gonna take Clove and put it more directly into my crease. I zoomed you guys in a little bit, sorry about that. I never remember to zoom. Alrighty, um, so then what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the color, I'm gonna take the color Poppy, and I'm gonna put it on the outer half of my lid. These are the same colors that I used in that other look, but it kind of, not even kind of, but in a different order. I use Poppy in my crease and Clove like on the outer corner, but we're gonna try something different here. So I'm gonna take about halfway, ooh, look at all that fallout. Just because it's a high-end palette doesn't mean that there's no fallout. It just means it's a really soft shadow. And then on this side, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a different brush. So I'm gonna take my Sigma E55 and I'm gonna go back into Morgan, which is the color we put as our transition, a transition color. Transition color. And put that right on the rest of our lid. And to blend two colors together, all you really gotta do is go back and forth with the colors that you use and kind of like go over the, the line where they meet until they, it looks blended. It looks like one just kind of fades into the other. I'm finding that clove color a little patchy in my crease. It's the only color that I've found so far that I've used. I've used this palette Twice I've used a lot of like the um, yellows and the oranges and I also used these purples. Like I said, I used this clove color before, but not in my crease. It's a little bit patchy in the crease, but that's okay because I can get it to blend. See, now it's okay, okay. All right, so now that we got Morgan Mor Morgana, I always want to say Morgana, like the goddess, Morgan down, I'm gonna go with Aster, which this is this shimmery purple here. And I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna pat it right over Morgan. This, this shade doesn't really, it needs something under it in order for it to kind of shine. Eh, it might have ruined that look. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna put after because it kind of looks weird just on that inner corner. I think I'm gonna pack it all over, or not pack it, pat it all over the lid. To give that kind of uh, iridescent blue purpley shine all over the lid because I don't like it just in the corner. See, I didn't like it just on the inner corner. I feel like it kind of looked odd there. So instead, I'm just going to go ahead and fix that by patting it very lightly all over. So it has a little bit of that shine everywhere. That's better. Oh, those are some messy eyes, aren't they? But they're pretty. They're pretty. Okay. So now I gotta clean up my fallout. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is move on to the face before we finish the eyes. So we're gonna use this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which again is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I've used the crap out of my Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is the Tatcha which you can see I used a lot of. I've already hit pan on it. And this is the, the e.l.f. So they're very, very similar in color. Uh, yeah, very, very similar in texture. Okay. It's like a bomb. It's like a bomb. It's not like a bomb. It's a, it's a, it's a bomb. <laughs> uh, 
it's a face balm, that's for sure. And then I'm just going to go ahead and focus it mainly on the areas where I have, you know, the pore filling that I need to do. Which is basically what this one does. And then I'll just kind of bring it out a little bit. foundations really at all so so I'm just gonna use my um, bare minerals stick foundation I'm just gonna use my bare mineral stick foundation for right now so let's do that I, I don't know it's really hard to find that that elf primer it's really hard to find that elf primer actually um it's funny because i finally found it in stock at, Ul at ulta and bought it they had a free shipping and i was like so i got that anastasia beverly hills um eye primer and that because you know i was like those are the things i really want of course now they have a now i have a 20 percent off coupon so whatever ulta but um so i bought those two things and uh I was like, watch, now I'll be able to find this everywhere. I haven't been able to find it everywhere, but the next day I did find it at my Walmart. <laughs> I was like, uh. So if you're interested to see a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm sure there's a million. I mean, I know Jeffree Star is the one who was like, this is just like Natasha and, you know, did a whole thing and that's why it sold out everywhere. But, huh? if you guys are interested in my perspective on it, let me know. If not... No harm, no foul. I don't know. <laughs> so, spoiler alert, I've been really loving my Bare Minerals uh, concealer. I really think this is going to be, like, the favorite of the month. I really love this. I really love the way that this looks. I'm going to use my sponge to pat, pat it in today. Okay, so I did my eyebrows and I did, I put on some bronzer. Um, I used my CoverGirl for my CoverGirl brow, brow pencil. And then I used the bronzer out of my Hot Nights palette from NARS. So now we're going to play with these new, these new sticks that they have from ColourPop. Um, so let me, so again, I got the Orchid. There's like a, like a trio. Um, so there is, does it have? I don't really have any. Oh, here we go. Pretty thing. Okay. So this is pretty thing. Obviously, and these are heavy swatches. So, so that was pretty thing, which is one of the blushes. That's the darker blush. Then I have cool it, which is a lighter blush in this trio. And then I have the highlighter, which is Flying High. Pretty. And that looks like, again, a really heavy swatch. Has, it's like an iridescent purple. So, that's why I went with the purples on the lid. You see. Because I knew I, have, I was going to play with these. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to use the lighter purple. Because we have pretty heavy eyes on right now not heavy but they're a little bit deeper it's not like a light summery look <laughs> it's definitely more like a deep berry look <laughs> so I'm gonna use this one which is called cool it and I'm just gonna so with cream products actually you know what with cream products I like to like take it on my finger these are very very creamy though you don't have to warm them up they're very creamy but I like to take it on my finger kind of smile and then kind of like pat it on and then take my sponge and blend it in oh that's very light like very very light there wasn't a lot of color payoff on the cheeks with that was there um okay let's layer why not I just gotta go to work after this 
I work from home, in case anybody doesn't know. So I'm going to take the deeper one and do the same thing. Just put it on my finger, tap it on my cheek. That one had a little more color payoff. And then blend, blend. Oh, yeah, that one's a little bit more. That's a little bit more, like, you can see it better on the cheek, I think. I'm sure you could with the other one. You just kind of got to, you just kind of got to build it up. They're definitely not like a, they're, they're an easy product to work with basically. They're, they're something that I think if you don't, if you don't use cream products and you want to start, this would be a good way to do it because it doesn't like give you wham, you know, you've got purple on your cheeks now. I think it's more of a subtle color so that you can build it up so you don't have to be as scared of it, you know. Because sometimes cream products can be a little scary. Okay, so I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just, I'm layering them because that's what I did on this cheek. So, this cheek over here. So that was Cool It, and now I'm putting on Pretty Thing. Again, taking it on my finger first, and then tapping it on, and then tapping it in. Ooh, Ooh and they've got such a nice finish too it looks really natural it kind of gives you like a really natural flush obviously you don't flush purple but you know what I mean <laughs> like it gives you a nice color I don't know maybe you do flush purple huh it's just me being uh judgmental I think uh, so those are the blushes I don't know I don't know how well they're picking up on camera because in real life they're very 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 subtle and then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the highlighter. So again, it's like an iridescent purple. I'm going to just take it on my cheek. They're very soft. They're very soft. I have a, um, a blush. Ooh, look at that. I have a blush um, that I got in, a, in an Allure box. And that one's really dry. And I have to really warm it up on my finger. But these, I might be able to apply just from the tube. But, or like put my sponge on it and... and uh, put my sponge on it and apply it to my face. Oh, that you can definitely tell. Oh, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's definitely got a nice purple. I didn't set my eye under eyes. I was so excited and I jumped right into this. That's okay. I'll go back and do that in a minute. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the purple. I got the orchid because that was like one of the few that were in stock. I wanted the peony, but that one was out of stock. I'll have to go back and look and see if any of them are back in stock, but not that I mind. I know a lot of people are like purple highlighter, really, but I don't know. That's pretty, I think. I think that's really pretty. You're going to have to tell me. Do I look 280s right now with my headband and my purple? <laughs> Let me go back and uh, set my eyes real quick. Okay, so there's that. My met my. I'm glad you guys can't see my um. My desk because it's a mess. I need to clean this desk. Like, yeah, I need to clean this desk. All right. So now let's go back in with. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? I did my eyebrows. I have an honest. I had. I got a um. Point perk for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I haven't had this stuff in a while. I'm going to go ahead and use this. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a clear brow gel. It looks like a mascara wand. But you use it to set your eyebrows. Very, very lightly because this stuff is no joke. Like, your eyebrows won't move all day. Okay. So now we're gonna go back into our honest. Or <laughs> now we're gonna go back into our Natasha Denona palette, and I am gonna take. We're gonna go crazy, and I'm gonna take this pink color called Glory, and I'm going to put it underneath my lash line. But actually, you know what? I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of that clove color. I'm gonna kind of mix them together. So it's not as bright of a fuchsia. Then I'm going to go in with my, actually, you know what, first, 
I'm going to go in with my Revlon uh, Color Sharp Line Liquid Eyeliner and line my top lash line. Then I'm going to go in with my Sephora Colorful 12 Hour Wear Waterproof Eyeliner in Tiramisu, which is the brown. And I'm going to go in to my waterline. And then I'm going to take my ColourPop highlighter and just a little detailer brush. This is technically a lip brush, but whatever. And I'm going to use that just right off the off the product and use that as my inner corner highlight. Now, <laughs> I got a whole bunch of new setting sprays between my Allure box, which is coming up soon, my unboxing, and my Fat Fit Fun box, which I'll link for you. And I also bought this makeup. It's a new brand from um, Target. There we go. It's a new brand from Target called Makeup Obsession, and it's called Lightning Glow Illuminating Thick Spray. I think I'm going to use this one today. So let's Smells oh, good. And it's like an, it's supposed to give you like a glow. Now last time I used this, it kind of left white spots on my face. So I'm gonna go in with my, my beauty blender and kind of press it a little bit into my skin without disturbing my makeup. Okay. And then mascara and lips. And then we'll be And then lips. Last but not least, lips. So I was watching Leanne Says, and she was saying that her favorite lip product was getting discontinued. And while I was out yesterday, I was like, I wonder if I could find any of those. And I went to CVS, and they weren't on clearance or anything. In fact, they weren't even buy one, get one half off. They were just like 10 bucks each or nine something each. And I was like, that's okay. Maybe they're not being discontinued. Remember, I live in a very small town. Um, I live outside of Vegas, but I myself live in a very small town. Um, and I was like, okay. So I looked it up, and they were buy one, get one half off at uh, Walgreens. Well, at first I was by Walmart. So I went by Walmart, and they were having them clearancing out. But there were only like three different colors, and they were all really deep, dark colors. And I'm trying to open one to show you and it's like not opening for me so um so there was three colors but they were all deep dark colors so I, I grabbed one because it's a stain so I know it's not going to be like that <coughs> that bad um and then I went to Walgreens and Walgreens didn't even have a display for them anymore so I was like oh okay I guess I guess they either clearance their mouth already and I missed it or something like that um but I wanted to you know see if I can get some because she said they're really really good before they were gone and yeah apparently maybe they're discontinuing them because the packaging is impossible to open usually there's like a perforated place where you can grab it and no 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 not not here not in this one apparently so she was talking about oh there we go so she was talking about the Revlon balm stain stain and this is in the color Adore. Again, a deep dark color, but I'm pretty sure that, yeah, see, it's like a, well, it's like a, like a berry color, like more on the brown side. But see how it's like a, just a stain? It's not, it's not like, it's not as pigmented as you think it would be in here. It's a bomb. And then these, I was, these were next to it. So those were 350 on clearance. Like I said, there was only three colors left, though. Everybody had already apparently known that they were, of course, anything on clearance, people tend to tend to pick up. Um, these were also on clearance. These were $4.50, and they're the Color Stay Ultimate Suede. Um, so again, Revlon. So, and this is in the color Influencer. And again, it's kind of like a balmy color, like a balmy consistency. Excuse me. So let's try an Influencer. Huh. 
that would go really good with this 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 particular look that I have going on. So that one, I like that. Okay. And then. Oh, this goes good with it too. It smells pepperminty. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that a lot too. Okay, so there we go. All right, so those were my first impressions. Um, yeah, or not, they weren't first impressions. Those were trying new makeup. I will continue to try these things and let you know. I can tell you already that I love this. I absolutely love this. This is my third time using it. Other than the mattes are a little hard to blend into my crease. I love it. I love everything about it. Um, but I am a big fan of this. Uh, I like the color pop. I like the ColourPop sticks. They're nice and soft and creamy and they weren't super pigmented, but I think that's great if you're starting out with cream products. Um, not really impressed with the, with the e.l.f. putty. I didn't really fill in any pores, but you know, whatever. Uh, I'll probably do a comparison just for myself and then if you want me to film it for you, just let me know down below. Just give me a thumbs up or a comment or something. Um, I am running a giveaway on my Instagram. It's K and J Scorpio. Um, it's always linked or it's always down below. You can go ahead and, and, um, follow me and enter my giveaway. It is international this time. Yeah. Thank you so much as always for watching. I do appreciate it. Hit that like button and that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be notified every time I upload and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.